hope everybody had a good 4th of July. On the 4th of July, I was thinking a lot about freedom and thinking about the ways in which the Trump administration is trying to take away our freedom. And um, state and city governments emboldened by Trump are trying to take away my, our freedoms. I mean, the freedoms that I care about are freedom to assemble, freedom of religion, free speech, free press, that kind of free, freedom that our forefathers fought for. They did not want to be oppressed by England, the Church of England. So um, now we've got you know municipalities that want to find protesters. We've got Jeff Sessions who wants uh, this country to be a single um, patriarchal Christian quote unquote um, country. And they're fighting for that. And they're fighting for that perspective to be the sole perspective in schools. And I really, really resent that. I'm a Christian, but that ticks me off. Um, and really what that's about is the superior white man um, mentality. It's, it's really about that, to perpetuate that. You ask any woman who's in an evangelical church and she'll tell you how the messages every single week are about women being submissive, um, not aspiring. So that's really disturbing to me. And how about um, freedom of speech? Uh, Trump wants there to be freedom of his speech, um, but not anybody else, especially not freedom of the press. And to suppress that is really to suppress a key freedom that this country fought for. Um, you know, to be able to voice a, a, an opposing opinion in public and have that be um, respected and have that not be a cause to lock people up. So I was really, I'm really disturbed by, um, by the erosion of our freedoms um, by this government. So that's my message. Uh, I feel like our, our government, the Trump administration, um, the Justice Department, a lot of our congressmen and senators are eroding our freedoms and are a bigger challenge to our freedom than another country. That's Cindy Tells It Like It Is.